It is a beautiful Easter Sunday. Uh, you know, happy Easter to anybody who uh, who celebrates. Um, decided that you know it's kind of a family day, but I'm gonna find some time to sneak out and just skate in the neighborhood. So I'm on the Rollerblade Solo still, uh, almost Rollerblade Fusion at this point. I'm really loving these skates as a free skate option. I think that the fit is great, the 45 degree strap is great, and the fact that it's UFS. You know, I don't know what it is, but I definitely prefer the feeling that I get riding a big wheel frame with a UFS boot than I do with a 165 boot. It was like that with the Solo, it was like that with the, the Seba CJ. If you find the right boot for a UFS frame, a big wheel frame, it's just a great feeling. And I think it's because that lower um, heel raise, you know, both of these, this and the uh, Seba, have a flat sole. So they use an internal shock absorber for leaning forward a little bit. This, because of the flat sole, is just a really good balance of comfort and responsiveness and low center of gravity and all that. So I set them up with the, uh, the ground control tri-skate frame. These are the original version one uh, tri-skate frame. They uh, fit 110 mil wheels. I'm riding them with the 100 mil compass wheels. I really prefer a 100 for skating around urban. I think a 110 is really good if you're trying to travel distance, um, if you're skating on something really rough terrain. But for me, the acceleration that I get with the 100 is really unmatched. Um, it's the perfect balance for me of coast, of acceleration, and the comfort that you get. So 100 millimeter compass wheels with a ground control three wheel 110 version one frame uh, and the rollerblade solos. Yeah, I'm just gonna go explore the neighborhood again. You know, it's been a while since I've skated around here and there's just so much good stuff to skate here. All of this pavement is nice and smooth. Uh, there are some nice hills, some nice little speed humps that you can launch over. It's really a great place to live. Oh, it feels so good to skate fast. These uh, hundreds are, again, are just perfect balance for me. You know, I don't skate too fast with them. Still controllable. But I feel like all the power that I put into it with my strides, I can keep. You know, it's not like a really quick half-life or whatever. Just skate hard, and it keeps you going fast. It's a really good balance. Um, I really wish these uh, these Solo had cranks, like a ratchet style buckle instead of the Velcro. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to get tight. Um, I found myself having to tighten them like three times now. And uh, I get a little wiggle in the mid area, like the ankle area. I don't want that. Like if I could crank it down with the ratchet buckle, like a free skate style skate like uh, the Flying Eagle F7 or my Imperials. I think that would be a lot better, but I can see why they went Velcro. I mean, especially if this is an aggressive skate, totally makes sense. But for my purposes, I think I'd prefer having a, uh, prefer having a crank.
That hill's so much fun. Just such a mellow, mellow downhill. Pavement is great. Almost no traffic. I mean, it's a sleepy Sunday, so that's probably helping, but man, it just feels good. Feels good, I guess, feels good to skate fast again. It's been a long time since I've been able to skate just distance fast, you know? The weather just never cooperated. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying myself today. Beautiful day, great skates, great wheels, having fun. So the last time I skated big wheels was, I think the 4x80s, uh, testing the 4x80 wheels. And uh, it's a noticeable difference. So, going downhill, uh-oh. Uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the 4x80s, this has a very similar wheelbase. So it's not like my stride is much different. But the fact that the wheels are taller does make a difference. You know, I feel as though I'm a lot higher when I'm doing turns and stuff. I feel like, I don't know, I don't slip out or anything, but I feel like I have to work a little harder to do my turns compared to the 4x80, I mean. Um, you know, any errors or anything like that feel a little weird. And uh, yeah, I think it has a lot to do with a couple things. First, the profile. These are more of a bullet hundred. You know, they're designed for speed. They're designed for skating smooth on rougher surfaces. The 4x80s are more of a rounded profile. And that's really good for, you know, control, having more urethane on the ground. You're not gonna skate as fast, but you're probably gonna have more control on jumps and landing gaps and strides and stuff like that. <sighs> these are a lot of fun though. Oh, I missed it. I haven't skated. It's crazy, I brought in these compass wheels and I haven't skated the hundreds since the wheels actually came out so this is my first time on production compass wheels and it feels so good. Yeah, these are a lot of fun. This is a really great boot for uh, for free skate. Again, I wish that it was more of a 45 degree ratchet buckle. Uh, I, I'm gonna see if I can find some old fusions. I think they used to come like that, but the Velcro, it's fine. It just needs to be a little tighter. I do feel like my foot wiggles around a little bit in the boot. I am using the MyFit Fatboy liners in here. So it's a slightly different than designed setup. Uh, but I feel like I should be able to make make some room for it. All right, gonna try some slides. Well, <laughs> I got uh, some of them to slide. You know, I haven't worn in that outside edge yet, so I feel like uh, it's gonna be harder for me to slide on a parallel slide than a magic slide because I've worn the inside edge, but not the outside, but it feels good. The uh, magic slide felt great. 
absolutely great. You know, you love that goose call <laughs> with fresh wheels. Um, and yeah, that, that just felt so good. I'll get the parallel. I know it. Uh, I think the, uh, you know, the problem is me. I just don't trust the wheels yet. I need to skate a little faster to get over the, uh, get over the, the wear, I guess. But uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Dog chasing me. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope everybody has a great week and uh, I'll see you guys next week.